The elders in South Central British Columbia have, I, have given me so much, gave me uh, so much that I, I think I think about every day just because so much of it was a storied past and those stories have carried meaning, uh, still carry meaning. Harry Robinson, who, who I just mentioned, who to me was a treasure trove of stories and a wonderful human being and, and so brilliant in so many ways. At one stage when so many stories were going by, you know, I, I was confused. How do you make connections here? What's really going on with all these stories? And he, it made me feel much better when he said, you'll need a lot of time. You need to, in his own broken English style, you need to step back and need a lot of time. Over years, you'll kind of see what I mean, what I'm getting at with these stories, which another aspect I loved about them was he, he really intended these stories to be here heard by people on my side of the equations. White people have to hear these stories. And for me, trying to make connections, and I haven't written much other than the introductions to our collaborations together. I've, I've written in those uh, kind of, to me, it's my, where I come from, wh where are these stories, because you have to understand a little bit about me to understand how, who the listener is in these stories, how they came about. And, and uh, you know, Harry really gave me the feeling that you need a lot of time and I, I have had a lot of time. I'm to, reaching the end of my career, and I would say they've infused and informed so much of, of who I am, and not just Harry, but in the, in, you know, close to Kamloops and, and, and Chase, uh, Amy August, who um, gave me the gift of sitting with her uh, for days and days over a large extended time, a life story, her life story, which will be told in, in digital form. I'm actually working with the Nisconleth band to get them that material. It won't appear in book form. It shouldn't appear in book form, but just this life story spread over uh, uh, so many years in that region was just sort of a beauty, a nugget that, uh, again, a story that, that people need to hear. And she told it in a way that she wanted to be very conscious of delivering the story to people in her community, but outsiders as well. Um, s singers and, and storytellers from Lytton, uh, the Stein Valley, which we were very much involved in, just happened to be there during the whole Stein battle issue. The stories that I had the privilege of hearing all around, in the context of that valley, that valley, what these stories meant, also opened up a whole new avenue of of just a people's relationship, the indigenous people's relationship to this landscape, what that valley meant in terms of places and names and people and stories and just this long-term connection that was always their beginning point and the, the valley as, a, as a, a spiritual place, which we can look on lightly on our side of the equation, but on their side of the equation just carried so much depth and meaning, it, just for me, that region, although I live in Victoria, that is the region where I think my heart lies because it, when I was younger in my very formative stage, I really did walk around and wander around and spent so many times, so many days in kitchens on, in reserve communities where people really did share really so much with me that I think I've tried to carry forward in my publications and in my in my courses in a way that's sort of respectful and that can give a sense of what lies for the outsider on that side of the equation in terms of history and historiography. How do you think about your past? How do they think about their past? How do these differ? How do they come together? What's the value of us listening to that? In my courses, what do we say about a history that's written mostly from the perspective of our side of the equation what happens when you sort of go to that side and hear how it how how it's told? It's it's been really an important part of what I teach and what I do and what I've done over my whole teaching career.